Hi. Today I'd like to introduce you to Tanium Performance, which is part of the Tanium Digital Employee Experience DEX solution. When it comes to employee satisfaction, the performance and reliability of their endpoint is crucial. In today's world of work from home and hybrid work, an employee's digital experience quite literally is their work experience. And when that experience isn't optimized and performing well, users feel unproductive, helpless, and unsatisfied. In this video, we're going to show you how Tanium Performance can help you optimize your endpoints and apps, find systemic issues, and remediate those issues remotely with minimal or even no disruption to employees. Let's dive in. In this video, we'll show you the value of organizational performance scores, monitoring the impact of applications, diagnosing an application performance issue and determining root cause, remediating performance issues, and measuring improved employee sentiment. It's difficult for organizations to quickly assess the overall endpoint health of their environment as a whole and answer questions like, am I ready for a hardware refresh? Do I have servers that are running under provision? Performance Score is a new feature of the Digital Employee Experience Solution, or DEX, that makes quick work of answering these types of questions. On the performance landing page, you see the overall performance score of your entire environment. This is an average of the score for all of your endpoints. We also have the average performance score by criticality. This makes it easy to compare the critical endpoints to the actual performance scores so that you compare them over time. This makes it easy to triage the most important endpoints in your environment quickly. Here you can see the performance score for individual endpoints. We can quickly sort and triage and see the lowest performing endpoints in our environment. You can further drill down to get a picture of why that specific performance score is low and measure the areas that are contributing to the score. With the performance score feature, IT can easily identify where performance problems and patterns exist, and from there they can take actions to remediate. This experience can be useful in finding endpoints that are performing poorly and are ready for a refresh, or experiencing systemic issues that can be fixed in real time at scale, one-off issues impacting critical devices and services that need attention. In today's digital age, the majority of employees' work experience is shaped by their interaction with technology. Based on Gartner research, employees use an average of 11 applications to do their work, with some handling even more, which adds to the complexity and frustration. This makes it difficult for organizations to understand the performance and impact applications have on their employees and business operations. The application monitoring feature of Tanium Dex gives organizations the necessary tools and insights to understand how their applications perform and influence employee productivity by identifying and minimizing negative impacts caused by their applications. As an example, you can see here that our top application crashing issue is with the notorious business application. While video conferencing is responsible for the most CPU spikes, email utilizes the most memory. This helps us understand the environment at a macro level and can lead us to the applications causing the most significant employee dissatisfaction. We can drill into the report where I can see all of my endpoints that have had business app crash on them. I can look for correlations. Are they the same version? Are the model numbers the same? Or are there other contributing factors? Now that we have seen how application monitoring can help keep track of key line of business applications, let's see how we can translate this towards root cause. This example is one that we encountered recently at a customer, and we've recreated it here in our demo environment. In the customer's case, thousands of Windows 10 endpoints would become very slow to the point of frustration whenever they were on a video conferencing call. So let's drill into the endpoints that have been experiencing performance problems when using the video conferencing app and start to characterize the issue. We have received complaints about an endpoint with 2600 in its name where they were running into an issue during conference calls. And we can see that it has a very low performance score. Let's jump on over to our events page. Here we can see the CPU is a top contributor to the events being created. Let's drill in a little bit more. Here on the CPU events page, we can see that the video conferencing app is the top CPU contributor on the 2600 endpoint. It has a top process of video conferencing app.exe. Let's do a direct connection to the endpoint to get some deeper dive real time details. Here we can see that on this endpoint, it's definitely experiencing issues with the video conferencing app. If we scroll down to the CPU section, we can see that the overall CPU is almost 100% utilized. If you look at the processes contributing to this, we can see that it's the video conferencing app.exe is using far more CPU than any other app on that endpoint. Now that we know this, 
Let's look for other correlating pieces of information about the endpoint. Let's pivot over to the reporting so we can get some additional endpoint details and do some further analysis. If we look at the operating system version and the installed memory, you can see that that installation is well below the factory recommendation of eight gigabytes. And we know the video conferencing app needs at least that much to run effectively. We can also see that the current version of Windows on the endpoint is no longer supported, so that could be contributing to some of the performance and stability issues as well. If we look at the installed applications, we see that the video conferencing app is on version 1.0.0.1, which is out of date and should be upgraded to get the most recent enhancements, including some that will improve the CPU consumption. Not only can we find these kinds of issues, but we do it without any disruption to the user community and can even automate the detection and remediation at scale to reduce the workload on your IT staff, as well as reducing the number of performance related issues and their time to closure over time. So now you've been able to proactively identify a potential problem across your organization, even without a single user calling it in. And you've been able to characterize your endpoints and identify the root cause of the problem. That's all great, but remediating the problem is the goal. There are many paths to remediation depending upon the root cause, but a common one is out-of-date software. Let's take that as an example. We've determined there's a process memory leak in the most common version of our video conferencing software, and that leak does not appear in the most up-to-date version. That's a simple fix, right? We just need to update the software, but it's not so simple when you're trying to do it across thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of machines deployed across the globe. With Tanium Software Management, we make that remediation as simple as setting up the version of your video conferencing application that you want deployed to all users, and then we do the rest. Every machine will be evaluated for its current version of the application, and when it's out of date, it will automatically be updated, with appropriate notifications to users, of course. We don't want to interrupt a video conference just to update the software. IT teams often struggle with gaining insights into the sentiment and perceptions that employees have concerning their digital employee experience. This lack of visibility can lead to a disconnect between the actual and perceived effectiveness of these tools, impacting employee productivity, satisfaction, and retention. Tanium Dex provides quantitative device data, enabling teams to validate employee sentiment with actual performance metrics. When IT teams can validate employee sentiment, with hard performance metrics and quantitative data, they ensure that their action plans are grounded in reality and are responsive to both perceived and actual device performance. By continually monitoring and analyzing employee sentiment alongside device performance, organizations can iteratively improve their digital environment and enhance the overall employee experience. So there you have it. Tanium Performance is one of the big engines inside the Tanium Dex solution. And it's one of the best ways to deliver digital employee experiences that are healthy, performant, and always at their best. With it, IT can help maximize employee productivity, improve employee satisfaction, and reduce help desk calls by enabling the organization to monitor, remediate, and engage in a feedback loop that enables them to measure employee satisfaction and learn how and where to improve it. We look forward to talking to you more about it and encourage you to take it for a test drive today.